Hello, my name's Emma, and I teach parents to communicate with their babies using sign language before they can talk. It's just basically teaching them a simple sign, like more or milk, so that they can express their needs. I came across it uh, three years ago, and uh, I was very skeptical to start with, but I thought, well, let's give it a try. My son was speech delayed. Um, he didn't talk until he was four. So uh, I was very, very aware of the frustrations of not being able to communicate with each other and didn't think it would hurt to try with Isabella and introduce a signed drink to her. Two weeks later, she signed for drink. It was very, very quick and very easy. The programme was developed by a gentleman called Joseph Garcia, uh, an American, and he was a child development researcher. And he spoke ASL, American Sign Language. He noticed one day that babies of deaf people were communicating with sign earlier than babies of hearing people were communicating with speech. So he started signing to his two young babies to see if they could communicate earlier, and that's how it, how, how it all started. I signed with my daughter when she was 11 months, started signing then, and at her peak she was using 75 signs. What then tends to happen naturally is the baby will make the sign, for example, more, and then as their vocal cords develop, they start to make the sign and say the word at the same time. And then naturally, as the word is, a, is acquired, they drop the sign. The biggest fear that people have is that it will delay speech, that the babies won't talk if they have this way of communicating, but that's never, ever been the case. If anything, it's, it's quite the opposite. Babies do tend to have more advanced speech, um, better sentence structuring, and do better all round, really. Okay, hello, welcome everybody. I wrote a few articles about it locally and um, shared it with other mothers and started supporting them while they were signing with their babies, which led, led on to actually teaching classes now. And we're basically teaching parents to sign with their babies. We're not teaching the babies, we're teaching the parents how to use this tool. Today we're going to cover the first basic needs in sign that your baby will need. The and course is are. set out developmentally, so the baby's first real, real need is, is milk. So we teach milk as a first, first sign, and then more, and nappy change, and drink. So they're the things that the baby needs initially. It is repetition, repetition, repetition. You have to show the signs consistently. Gently, it's not that we're forcing them, we're not grabbing their hands and making them force signs. It's just gently done with speech. An eight-month-old baby could be signing back within, well, in my own experience, in our first class. One of our babies who was eight months old was signing milk two days later. It can be that quick. Well, we all teach our baby to wave goodbye to grandma, and this, this is just taking that one step further. It's, it's a more sophisticated form of communication than just crying and, and tuning into what sort of cry that, that baby's making at that time. It gives them a bigger vocabulary. Uh, it also empowers them to become a much more interactive member of the family, much younger. In my experience, signing with my daughter and, and the hundreds of mothers over the country and in America that I've spoken to, everybody has just said it's been a blessing. Having that window into their baby's minds and having that early communication and having the reassurance that their baby is getting everything that they need. And so many times we get so stressed because we know they're crying and we don't know how to help them. And now we can.